Welcome to the new America. The stimulus bill will destroy us. It will destroy our elections. There will be no more ballot integrity. What's the price of your vote? Is it worth it to you? For $1,200 to know that you've allowed them to corrupt the voting system where your vote no longer matters because they're going to stuff a hundred more in place of year one. The one thing we have is a sacred ballot. Yeah, I voted for Trump. I won't deny that. And I am seriously disappointed. The stimulus bill has more pork in it than all of Obama's two trillion dollars. Pretty fair trade-off. Congress gets how many, Congress gets eighty percent of it to spend on themselves and how they want, how they can loot the damn treasury. I'm calling on President Trump to veto that bill. Make Congress own it. Have a revote. Really, truly, have a revote. Make them override a veto. He ought to have a national national address to tell everybody the shit that's in it. Yeah, I'm a little bit pissed. I'm more than a little pissed. I'm a lot pissed. The price of free corn. You know how you catch wild hogs? You start placing corn out. Pretty soon them hogs get used to it. They'll come feed. They get it they they get acclimated to having corn in the same place every day. Then you put you up a fence panel on just one side. They get scared, run off. But the lure of free corn But the lure of free corn is too strong. They'll come back, go to feeding. So the next day, you know, I say in a week's time, farmer puts another fence up. So now they're fenced in on two sides, but they don't care. They can just run away. They're free. They eat up the corn. <coughs> Snickers! Dog's barking. He's eating and don't like the other dogs around him. But they eat up the free corn. And then the farmer, after another week, puts up another panel. Now he's got them hemmed in on three sides, but they don't care. The hogs, they just run off through the open side. Any, you know, anytime anything startles them, they sure like that free corn. Then he puts up one last panel with a gate. Leaves the gate open, but he run, but he runs a trip wire to it. He dumps that corn in. Yep, the hogs return. They examine it. They see there's a way in and out. That's okay. We can still escape anytime we want to. There's a way out. Then he feeds them again. They eat on the free corn and he trips the gate and locks them in. Then he starves them. He'll starve them for a week inside that pen because he knows he, he knows a hungry hog will go any place he wants them to go into a trailer because he'll put feed and he'll put corn in that trailer. The hogs done forgot how to take care of themselves, how to forage for food. What it mean what what it what it means to be wild and free to be a hog you know I say to be a to be a wild hog. And if you can't see that's exactly what they've done, I'm sorry. But that's exactly what they've done. They turned you know, I say Trump turned the economy on. 
then someone unleashed this damn fl this damn virus over in China. I don't know who done it. Don't care who done it. But I can damn sure see the media is using it against us. So now they've cut off your corn. They shut you know, down. They convinced President Trump we had to shut down the damn economy. Now we have millions that are desperate. There ain't no more free corn. And he, and who comes swooping in like a savior? Congress. And what do they offer? They offer, they offer you $1,200 for your freedom. Because you're hungry. You're desperate. You're those pigs that are inside that pen because you don't see a way out. You, you know, as Americans, you have forgotten how to get out and make your own way. To stand up and say, no, I don't want that. I would rather have my republic intact. But, no, you're going to chase the free corn and I'm terribly, terribly hateful that President Trump's going to sign it instead of making them own it. Making them work for that bill. And how many and how many votes of our kids will be lost over this one bill and, and fundamentally changing the American electoral system. And there's lots of pork in that damn bill. Twenty six or twenty five million dollars I think it was for the Kennedy Center in New York City. How much of that do you reckon they're gonna get and how much is gonna go back in the net? In, in the Nadler's pockets as kickbacks. Restarting the refugee resettlement program. Several several million dollars there. To bring some more people into our country that don't want to be Americans. They want they, they want to bring their country here, not not be part of our country. People I am so saddened by the state of affairs of our nation. For you have become the hogs in the pen. And it sucks because Americans are better than that. Don't I say, we was a shining city on the hill. We were supposed to MAGA, make America great again. Well, guess what? This bill, you ain't got to worry about that. Then they add to it the right to investigate and investigate President Trump over this whole, over how he handled the over over how he handled the China bug. One hundred percent. You don't think you you don't think there's going to be another impeachment? How about six weeks before the election, two months for the election? They're going to draw up new impeachment orders, articles of impeachment in Congress. And then you can hear the media now. You can't, yes, you, know, so you don't want to vote for him. He's being impeached. The vote for him will be a vote for Pence because he'll be kicked out of office. Spreading fear, uncertainty, and doubt. We call it FUD. Can you not see the game they're playing, people? This is so sad. Love y'all. Pray for our president. Pray for our nation. Pray for each other, people. Find someone that needs that help. Step out and offer your hand to help. Who am I? I'm just, I'm just an old country boy. Lives, lives out in the country. I don't ask anything from government. I make my living in spite of government, not because of government. I wish you all the very best. May Jesus, may Jesus and God's, and may God, may Jesus and God's will be on be on your steps every day. I love America. I love her people. It saddens me to see what they have become. Thank you.